All right, what's up, everybody? We are back with season two, episode 13 of The Flash, which is called Welcome to Earth 2. Yeah, I can't help but already like glance ahead and I'm seeing episode 14 be called Escape from Earth 2. So <laughs> maybe this is going to be short lived. You know, it is what it is. But uh, obviously, yeah, I don't intend to ever spoil myself. It's just kind of impossible to avoid, uh, you know, on my Netflix right now. That being said, I'm looking forward to seeing what exactly this strategy is, of course, going to be. Because we've basically figured, I mean, last episode, Harrison... Yeah, Harrison took some speed away from Barry and, of course, admitted to it, right? Which, uh, at first, landed him in one of our prison facilities. But basically, now we figured, like, well, you know, at least he owned up to it, right? And it shows you that he wants to be on the good side. And, obviously, his morals have been playing with him the entire time. Which is exactly what got him to make that admission and to do the right thing in the end. And so now we want to help him out. The question is, yeah, going to Earth 2, you know, what are we going to do, right? Like, are we going to take Zoom head on? Seems like we're still not really ready for that, right? So I wonder what exactly the strategy is going to be. And I will say it's a little bit hard to, hard to tell right now. Um, who exactly is going to be coming along on that mission too, of course, you wonder about. Like, Jay Garrick not doing really too well, right? Being sick and all. Iris now being in the hospital, of course. I mean, I didn't honestly want her to come along in the first place. And I don't think... Joe would have wanted it either. I don't know if Joe himself is actually going to be accompanying us uh, as we go there, right? I would suspect that it'll be Barry and it'll be, uh, yeah, Harrison. And it'll probably be, you know, Caitlin and Cisco as well, I guess, right? But uh, other than that, I don't know. We're putting a lot of people in, in, in danger, I would think, actually going there. Although then again, yeah, I mean, you know, technically Zoom is able to like come here as well, right? So it's like we can face them at any point, really. Um, we're in danger no matter what, right? So we're going to have to wait and see exactly, like I said, uh, how it's all going to unfold. You know, we've got Wally now, of course. Um, well, I mean, I, I think he's supposed to become a superhero at some point, because like I said, I kind of heard that, like, oh, apparently he sort of becomes always the, the Miles Morales to what... Um, uh, uh, or, well, to Barry, in, like Miles Morales is to Spider-Man. You get what I'm saying, right? But... Um, I don't know exactly if that's going to ring true or maybe this is going to be some type of twist once again, right? Obviously, for now, Wally is just... We're trying to get, you know, in good graces with him, I guess, right? Iris, Joe, uh, uh, everybody else, you know, it seems like Wally has at least abandoned that lifestyle of uh, partaking in the street races. And of course, yeah, Francine, I think, is already supposed to have died, which kind of came as a shock to me, I will say, because we didn't actually get sort of like a goodbye moment necessarily you know what i mean i mean we knew that the moment was imminent she was laying there in the hospital and iris of course was talking to her and stuff it was looking like it was going to be kind of their last conversation but um yeah i mean though i think she's supposed to be basically gone at this point right are we still going to get a funeral scene or something i don't really know it seems like we're just going to be moving uh right past on from that right now going to earth 2 we're going to have a whole different objective basically inside so i'm looking forward to seeing exactly how it's all going to play out, of course, guys, if you enjoy my reactions to The Flash, then you'll be able to get early access to the next 12 plus episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Full length reactions are, of course, posted there too, if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. And you can also sign up as a free member and watch the next episode already right now as well. With that being said, let's dive into this new episode. Journal log entry 115, my last entry. On this earth, we're closing the breaches, all of them. Soon, every portal between this earth and mine will no longer exist. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I wonder if we're actually going to be genuinely saying goodbye to Harrison the moment we make it back, right? Like, that would be, that'd be early. But the one thing I never lost track of was you, Jesse. You are my conscience, my beating heart. Wow, damn, just like that, huh? I mean, we're still throwing those, like, grenade thingies in there, right? Hang on a little bit longer, because I'm coming to get you. <laughs> and this time, I'm not coming alone. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember that gun, because that's what he used against uh, King Shark as well, right? In his, like, entrance scene in this, in this Earth. Yep. Bam. Uh, that's how it's done. Yeah, we still got the big one left, though. That's the real issue. Not bad for a guy got a C in gym. D plus. Straight up F right here. <laughs> Can't believe it. We closed all the breaches. <laughs> well, except the one. Our last way to Earth, too. I think it's so typical, actually. But, like, I feel like gym classes were my favorite 
thing back in high school. You know, I hated all the theoretical stuff, but like actually, actually getting to, you know, partake in any sports, like that'd be the only thing I'd be looking forward to back in school. Yeah, I just have a few things to take care of first. Just a reminder, Alan. Clock's ticking. It always is. Dude, I feel like I feel like Harrison's actor puts on that gravelly voice on purpose. It's fucking cool. You know you haven't made lasagna since I left for college? Well, college is a hell of a lot closer than another Earth. Hey, did you tell Henry? No. I, look, if he knew, he would just try to talk me out of it, and he probably would, so... Yeah, but it kind of seems like Joe himself is worried as well, right? So he's definitely not coming along, I would guess. Look, Iris, I know that this is... Nuts is the only word I can think <laughs> of right now. But it's not like I've never done anything dangerous before. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be the last thing. Like, <laughs> you already know. I mean, it's going to get five times more dangerous in the future. I just... I want to make sure that you're not doing this because you think that you don't have anything left here anymore. This isn't about Patty. Oh. It's not. Oh, shit. Yeah, honestly, I'd actually almost forgotten about Patty. I'm not go <laughs> going to lie, but uh, every single time they do a great job at kind of making me aware of what Barry's mental state could be like. You know what I mean? They did something like that before, too, earlier in the season, I recall. I love my life. I'm not trying to escape promise go in Barry and then come home I mean you know it's kind of like what what does she figure right like she doesn't figure that he's sending himself on a suicide mission here you know right I mean what what do you expect could be the reason for him doing this in the first place it's not like he's going to enjoy things anymore on that other earth or something like if we're not back in 48 hours that means the zoom has us if that happens you have to close the breach we're not gonna do that you get okay. yourself back here in one piece, all right? Yeah, again, he keeps mentioning us. I'm guessing at this point that it's only going to be him and Harrison in that case, right? That 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 makes the most sense since, you know, Harrison belongs there, Barry's got the powers, and yeah, Caitlin is obviously just not... She's, she's not capable to really go there. It, it would be putting her into unnecessarily... Well, unnecessarily putting her in, in a lot of harm, I guess, in harm's way. I wrote this for my parents and Dante. If I don't come back, make sure it gets to them. Okay, but Cisco is. Cisco is, because we need him. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. You too, Harry. No. I hope you get <laughs> your daughter back. I'll make sure you get your son back. I mean, it is kind of wholesome to see all this, man. Like, I keep saying it, but reflecting on, you know, what season one used to look like, actually having a Harrison now that we kind of care about and stuff, right? It's like, it's been, uh, it's been nice to see. Once I turn the speed cannon on, the three of you will be able to pass through unharmed. But Barry, you need to make sure you keep your speed up. Mm-hmm. I, I got no spit. <laughs> Josh, I'm not just quoting. <laughs> Dude, Cisco is not made for this life at all. Do not get distracted by anything you see along the way. What are we going to see? Everything. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Go. Yo, you know what I'm actually curious about? Are they going to find out about Grodd? And what actually was that? What was the strange facility that we kind of placed them at? I mean, that was one of Harrison's plans, right? Like, basically, that was his doing. He chose that location, so he still had some kind of underlying agenda when it came to that, which I have no idea what that was about, but I don't think it was necessarily a good thing. Oh, shit. Oh, that's Supergirl? Breaking. So what? So what? Now they they won't be able to go back? Yeah, that's fucking great. I know, like, Supergirl, we just saw, right? All I know is that, like, I think the entire universe of this consists of the Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl, right? That's That should be all of them. Hopefully. With the rest of the breaches closed, the energy surge to this last remaining breach must have destabilized it. What does that mean? As long as it's unstable, Barry and Cisco will be trapped over there. <sighs> Figured as much. Well, that's great news. The fuck was that? Looked like Indiana Jones. Actually, it kind of looked like like Lance, didn't it? From Arrow. I'm not sure, honestly. I, I wanna I wanna recheck this. Uh, 
Okay, no, I can't tell what that is. No, that's not that's not him either. Oh my god. Does Harrison at least know where we are? Is this his star labs? <laughs> cool, dude. The monorail or whatever. Welcome to Earth 2. Huh. Oh shit. Look at those cars though. I've been saying this, but there's something really... It's like futuristic and old school at the same time, you know what I mean? I get some like strange kind of Bioshock vibe seeing this all. This is amazing. Half these things are just ideas on our Earth. Come here, I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god. Not a sightseeing tour. Speak for yourself, we want our grandkids to know we did cool stuff. Do they even have smartphones over here? Selfie cameras? We're expecting you. <laughs> yes. I didn't tell anyone I was coming back. <clears throat> oh! I thought you might have left town with all that's been happening. Right. Oh, dude, dude, I forget what he was called, but he was the other contender, right? Next to uh, Jefferson. Fuck, what was his name again? Some J-word, also, I think. Th this is um, oh. Henry Hewitt, lab assistant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And you, I'm um, Sid Barry, this is Cisco. I'm Cisco, yeah. yeah. You. Let's hope that this Hewitt doesn't have the, uh, the anger issues. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Uh, 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 he's so upbeat. He's a bad guy on Earth One. <laughs> he looks just like him. Nah, dude. Yo, at this point, I'm like genuinely a little bit. I'm like, I'm like strapping in whether we're gonna see Eddie or something, right? Again, it's it's a possibility. I mean, you know, it might not happen at all. I'm probably, you know, getting worried about nothing here, but nothing is ruling out that we're gonna see him. A reminder that a citywide curfew has been issued. No unauthorized person is to be out after 9 p.m. A recent increase in Zoom attacks has led Mayor Snart to extend the curfew. Mayor Snart? Issued after a series of terror attacks throughout the city. It's worse. Wait, wait, who is Mayor Snart? Is it going to be fucking Lenny Snart? Is it going to be like his dad? Who actually is that mayor? Then let's find Zoom fast. Cisco, do your thing. All right, Zoom. You can run. But you can't hide. Yeah, we gotta traumatize him though, right? Take two. <laughs> Alright, Zoom. You can run. <laughs> Ramon, what's happening? You know, okay. Maybe I lost my powers. I didn't lose my powers. Why would you lose your powers? Oh, here we go. The wavelength trigger is not responding, but that only happens if frequency is imbalanced. Dude, is that because of the portal that broke and everything? It's just not going to work now? The latest attack was orchestrated by Zoom. And oh! We understand that citizens of Central City are scared, but I can assure you the CCPD has been working That's diligently me. on boarding <laughs> the... Map. Holy shit! Wait, so, so Barry does actually exist in this world too. I was always just kind of under the assumption that maybe he wasn't, that there would be like exceptions. Right? And that's be that's why Jay Garrick maybe was the Flash, just because there was no Barry. But actually, no, this really tells us that everybody, I guess, is represented in this other Earth as well, right? So, so seriously, like, even fucking Eddie would be alive here. Maybe even his mom. We will stop Zoom. That's a promise. The leadership of Detective West. So Joe's still a cop here. Yeah, more importantly, I'm, I'm still a CSI. I have a plan. Huh. What just happened? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How did I get here? What? Oh, dude. Who are, who are you? How, uh, how do you look like me? Alan, what are you doing? Nah, nah, you know, you know Barry's actor had way too much fun with this scene. Okay, I have no idea what is going on here, but I've always wanted to meet you. Y your thesis on string phenomenology was revolutionary to me. I, I... God damn, dude, then I thought our Barry was a fucking nerd. <laughs> I won an award for it right over there, you see. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. What, what, what did you do? What's wrong with you? Have you turned into an evil you? Relax. Just knocked him out. I mean, but why exactly did we even need him here? Oh, I guess to help us out with that, that problem we got. Well, you guys work on the goggles. I will go to CCPD as him. Oh. See if I can figure out what information they have on Zoom's previous sightings. You can use oh. those sightings to triangulate Zoom's hideout. Good, that's a good plan. Just remember what Jay said, okay? Things here are all sorts of trippy. Right. Yo, that is smart, dude. Actually fucking going on the cover now and kind of seeing what a day in the life, I guess, of this Barry is like, huh? I mean, this is crazy. 
It looks the same though, doesn't it? Captain? Oh. Look, I don't know nothing, so I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, Joe might be the same role, but the other guy over here, <laughs> dude's a criminal, I guess. Lawton, you are the worst shot in the entire department. Hey, why don't you book Sing here and I'll be in there in a moment. Whatever you say, partner. Mm. Come on. Oh, and just for the record, my marksmanship proficiency ratings went up by two points last month. <laughs> All right? Two points. Woo! <laughs> Yo, this this ours is a, a feisty one. You're Detective West. Oh. One, the only. Yeah. Can I see you for a second, CSI Allen? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! So there's not even a Joe here in the first place. Oh wait, what is she actually taking him to? Um, oh. What are you doing? A what? I think a little office PDA between husband and wife is okay. <laughs> Husband and <laughs> wife. Hey, 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 I guess it was always meant to be, you know, and if we can't get it in Earth 1, we can get it in Earth 2. That's so weird. What's that? My MetaHuman alert app. It thinks that you're a MetaHuman. That is so... Nah. Clearly defective. Where are we going? Home. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, sh dude. Dude, Barry is about to have sex with Iris <laughs> for the first time <laughs> in this fucking earth. Oh my god. This town belongs to Zoom and those of us he deems worthy enough to enforce his will. Is this Gaitlin? I don't know who this is. Thanks a million. What should I say too? Oh, it is. Holy fuck. Damn. Yo, I had to double check for a second. It is supposed to be her, right? What 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 the fuck is up with the blonde hair and the, the lipstick? Jesus. Oh no, who's a buddy? Now what did I tell you about watching that behind? I thought that was your job. Yo, nah, this shit is crazy, man. The realities of this world are uh, not what I had expected. So she still works together with Ronnie here. Except, uh, is Ronnie, I, I guess Ronnie is a villain too, I guess, huh? They, they just make a pair like that. It's like Bonnie and Clyde. Just got words some breachers came through. Oh, you know, my favorite thing is to kill people from other Earths. Today's your lucky day. Shit, dude. This is gonna fuck with my... with my brain. This is nice. Our home. I mean, I forgot, I guess. <laughs> Barry, you're supposed to have been here like a million times already, goddammit. What is wrong with you? You've been acting weird all day. Um, so you're about to be acting weird right now. Your mom called? Wow. Dude, literally everything that I said is coming true, man. It's like, yeah, the mama's still here, I guess. So huh? now we can actually have a conversation with her. This is like, it's wholesome, but it's also, I mean, this, this shit could be traumatizing, you know? Like this, this is going to make you even more, oh shit. Yeah, this is going to make him so much more depressed about the other earth and exactly what he said to Iris about like, oh, I have no reason not to come back, right? It's like now, He's gonna like this reality more. Shit. Eddie. Yo, Eddie is there too. Uh, hello. Mom. Well, you certainly took your time calling back. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm sorry about that. <sighs> Thank you so much for the anniversary tickets to Atlantis. Your dad and I have always wanted to go. Um, I'm, I'm really glad you liked them. <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay? So they're actually, yeah, mom and dad still together here as well. Obviously, they got split up because she died, you know? But, but yeah, it could always have been a possibility that they had separated regardless, right? But it's like, man, he's getting everything that he, that he wished for. Hey, I know. Maybe I should give the plane tickets to you and Iris. Nice little romantic getaway. You two could get started on giving me a grandchild. <laughs> no, I want you to use them. I'm really glad to 
hear you. Happy mom. Oh, I love you, Barry. I actually got filled in a little bit about that by a patron who told me that apparently, I mean, I don't know if this is always kind of how it goes in like the Flash comics or something, right? Or like what the original story kind of is supposed to be, but it's exactly because Barry got taken in by Joe that Iris, like Iris, even as a kid, did have feelings for Barry already, just like he did for her or whatever, right? But they both kind of, or at least Iris did, had to kind of um, put it to the side, if that makes sense, right? Because they were welcoming Barry into the family. And it's exactly because here, Barry still got to have his parents, that I guess it's much, much more natural for Barry and Iris to end up together, right? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know, I can't find him anywhere. Well, well, he better show up soon because he's been gone for hours. We only have so many of those left before Zoom needs for speed. They're gonna think the mission failed. Yeah, don't worry about him, he'll be fine. Who do you think <laughs> I was talking about? I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> you? Yeah, because we found Barry's double, so where the hell am I? You know, I always thought, you know, in their life, I was like, I don't know, like a really wealthy, famous inventor. I don't know, I feel like Cisco is going to get either like the complete opposite or like, I don't know, the Cisco here is going to be like even more of a nobody <laughs> than he is. I was about to say, I mean, he's not a nobody. You get what I'm saying? I just like throwing shade. All right, here's some advice for you. How about spending more time looking for Zoom and less time worrying about what someone who is not you is doing with their life? I'm telling you, dude, they're about to find Cisco under the bridge somewhere. Some things that happened for the first time. Joe. Seem to be happening again. Nah, this is not our, our Joe singing. And loved before. Joe can sing. He's the best. Right. Dude. Yeah, who knows where or where? Man's actually good, man. I mean, at first to me, he sounded nothing like Joe, but I can kind of, like, yeah, I can kind of hear it now, I guess. Was that, was that his actual singing? Joe, hey. <laughs> it's Joseph Bartholomew. Pop, be nice. <laughs> you too, babe. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I guess uh, father-in-law relationship ain't, uh, ain't as great <laughs> as actual sort of adoptive dad. Are you upset with me? Or you just, you just don't like me? Have you lost your mind? Central City's going to hell in a handbasket because this lunatic Zoom is running around killing folks and you got my daughter on the front lines. Wait, uh. me? It has always been about you, Bartholomew. Okay, so still protective over his daughter, clearly. I mean, at least that gives us one reason, I guess, to want to actually go back. <laughs> Probably for the better. We've got to see this. Somebody call the flag. What? Yo, who the fuck is attacking now? A new metahuman? That's what it says on the news. His name is Adam Fells. But he calls himself Geomancer. So Geomancer? this metahuman is a breacher? No, Fells died on my Earth. This must be his Earth 1 doppelganger. Well, at least now we know his name. Might be a little easier to track him down. Yeah, we got one problem, though. We got nobody to fight him with. So, Jay, you could shoot yourself up with that stuff. What was it? Velocity? Velocity 6? I cannot take V6. But it gave you your speed back long enough to get that bullet out of well. Saved his life. Joe, don't ask me to take Velocity 6 again. Look, Jay, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But Barry is protecting your world, and our world needs a flash right about now. Yeah, okay. So now that puts him in a spot of, like, it's forcing him, I guess, to take it, right? I mean, you know... Would it still be, would it even be a negative thing in the end? When my world's particle accelerator went off, I became a speedster. I became the fastest man alive. Only, only it wasn't enough for me. I wasn't, I wasn't fast enough. So I figured with my scientific background, I could increase my powers and I did. Oh, so he kind of, he kind of drugged himself up, I guess, right? And so now he's sworn to stay away from any fucking drugs possible in his life. That's that's technically how I can interpret it, I guess, right? Zoom never stole your speed. This is what's making you sick. Velocity 6 is killing you. I wasn't lying when I said that stuff was dangerous. What? Okay, so it's all so it's all going to be fucking in vain. So like so like there is no cure for him either? You have something now that you've never had before. <clears throat> Me. And I'm gonna figure this out. Yeah, I mean that that that's cool and all, and I hope that we do. But in the meantime, 
if you've already taken it and you've you're already killing yourself, you know, like does it does it does it hurt to take a little bit more? You know what I mean? Like it's just like Walter White and Breaking Bad deciding to smoke. It's like I already got lung cancer, you know. <laughs> Can't really get much worse, get it? Can we talk more about why Joe Sif doesn't like me? What's there to talk about? I mean, you can't stand him either. Right. Right. <laughs> ah, dude, like this episode is the best, man. I love just the little dynamic they're giving to it by having this all be such a different experience. I met a human warning app. Oh. Oh. Don't stop singing, old man. That's our song. Huh. I mean, but yeah, sorry that I always get caught up about the technicalities, right? But shouldn't technically the, the MetaHuman app or whatever have gone off for everybody with Barry being here? Like it was already going off, right? CCP, everyone get out of here. All right, go, go. You are both under arrest. Nah. Ladies first. Come on, man. You can't fight them with fucking gunpowder. Caitlin, I know you. Don't do this. If you knew me at all, you would know that I hate the name Caitlyn. Huh. I'm Killer Frost. Go, all right, go, go. Dude, dude, yeah, Barry is too naive, man. He actually thought that he could, like, get to her by calling out a real name or something. But nothing, I think, guarantees that the same people are still actually in there, if you get what I'm saying, right? Their personalities, I, I don't think, are supposed to actually still be sort of the same when you can't you can't approach them with the same kind of tactics oh man Dad! Oh my God. yeah now i'm like genuinely worried we're gonna start getting people in this fucking universe killed <laughs> huh. nah Yo, they're firing up all sorts of projectiles. What? Wait. Oh. Oh, shit. Wait, he's actually using the helmet there of the Jay Garrick statue as a shield? That's fucking awesome. This ain't over, Breacher. Barry! Yeah, dude, dude. You are kidding me. Joe is fucking dead. Joseph, my bad. Caitlin and Ronnie's doppelgangers are evil? <sighs> Those are some dope names, though. This was supposed to be a surgical <laughs> mission, Alan. Find Zoom's lair, rescue Jesse, get in, get out, not get involved. Yep. All right, well, look, I am involved, okay? I mean, I mean, honestly, honestly, Harrison should have at least fucking prepared them for this because he could have told us all this information and he didn't, right? So it only may, I mean, we're only human, right? Like these, these emotions are going to get to us. Jesse still has time, okay? Iris and Joe need me now. She I have to get back to them. Iris. She is Iris. Okay, she is to me. No matter what universe I'm in, they are my family. I would think by now you should get how important family is. I mean, I, I wonder if Harrison feels this way about his daughter in our Earth, assuming that she is even there, because that's the thing. Obviously, in our Earth, Harrison never got to, uh, like, he never got to have a kid. So does that mean that she doesn't exist? I guess so, right? At least, at least that. Probably, yeah, is the case. Hey, what are you doing here? Wait, are we supposed to meet up or something? No, I was, I was just nearby. Oh God! Is the metahuman attacking the police office? Damn metahumans! Only thing I hate more is <laughs> hospitals. Oh, <laughs> you know everybody thought that he was gonna say Barry. Every song's for you, baby. Every single one. And Dad, don't talk like this, okay? Uh, Barry. Yeah. Wow. He actually you take care pronounced his name like that. Is he giving a goodbye speech? And Dad, nurse! Doctor, no! What the fuck? <laughs> Man, dude, just when I thought he was actually gonna make it because he was in the hospital now. Oh, Iris. 
Do I know you? D does she know me? Cisco works at Star Labs, and he has built a weapon that he believes we can use to neutralize um, Killer Frost's powers. Great. Thanks. I'll take it. Uh, please, I should really take this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn, they kind of threw me off with how quickly we moved on just now from the death scene to this. All right, well, Cisco's the only one that knows how to operate the device, so you have to take him. I can't put a civilian in harm's way. Look, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I can handle myself, okay? This is West Allen. <laughs> She's starting to suspect something. She's like, what's that weird, the weird connotation behind the way you pronounce that? I love you. love you too like i wonder if she actually recognized cisco you know because it didn't really seem like it right i think she just yeah she honestly doesn't know him at all so i i wonder if there is a cisco in this world or what actually is the deal with him oh oh and now we're back in the other world again huh we just keep zigzagging you better hope the flash doesn't show up or you're finished see that's funny i don't think he will show I've been causing tremors for days and no sign of him. Oh, shit. I think he's gone. Oh, damn. So he actually knows that uh, Flash is a little preoccupied right now. Oh. Oh, that's Jay Garrick. Okay. I heard you were looking for the Flash. <laughs> it's like the velocity 7 is working. Now yep. go get him. Okay, so he actually took some of it again. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I guess... I don't know, would it further damage him? Ah, whatever. I mean, we're gonna try and find a way to fix it anyway. Wow. That's a new one. Is that all you have? That's a pretty fucking cool one. Oh, dude. The Velocity 7's wearing off. So quickly? Are you kidding me? Wow, hey, I guess sometimes even bullets do work. Hey, maybe, maybe a snitch was wrong. I mean, maybe they're not even here. No, they're here. Dude, I mean, I wonder, I wonder if Barry himself is actually going to be using his flash powers here now, right? Without them being able to see it, because I guess he, yeah, he wouldn't want to reveal his identity to them. How rude. Drop him. I mean, like, what actually was the play, though, coming here? Because you knew they were going to be here, so clearly they're actually counting on something to save them. I can't believe you two work for Zoom. No. They work for me. I work for Zoom. Who the fuck is this dude? Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh my god! Well, that's funny. <laughs> I was just gonna ask you the same thing. Yeah. Because you literally look like his doppelganger. Oh, finally, we've got Cisco revealed. Holy shit. I mean, you know, I gotta admit, when I was wrong, right? That's a little bit more than a, than a nobody. Are you two related to each other? Oh, I knew there was another me here. And I knew you were coming, Cisco. Even before you entered the breach and set foot on this world. Okay, so at least they know. See, we are all connected, Francisco. The name is Vibe. <laughs> Reverb. Actually, not the worst name you could have come up with, but not the best. <laughs> I've been watching you, Vibe. I don't know. I don't know. I might like Reverb a little bit better. I'm not going to lie. Listen to this. What if Zoom wasn't running the show anymore? What? Are you gonna take over? All you use your powers for are these cheap parlor tricks when you... You could be a god. We could be gods. Oh my god, he's gonna try and actually pull him to his side or say like, together we should rule the fucking two worlds, two earths? Are you Cloud City Vadering me right now? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Let's turn them over to Zoom. 
Speak to me like that again, and I will shatter your entire nervous system without breaking a sweat. Hey, hey, you know, you know the first. <laughs> this is kind of an Inception type moment, but you know the <laughs> the first supervillain they'd be going for to actually add to that team would be, uh, you know, <laughs> would be the trickster, right, Mark Hamill. You want to run Central City? What do you say? I say. Flash, save us! Nice, nice. And who the hell are you? Detective, just get out of here, all right? No, not without them. Oh my god, yeah, this is all a fucking clusterfuck for them. Ooh. Oh, shit. Man took that one personally. Round two. Look, Mirror Mirror, I already told you I'm not going to the dark side with you. I mean, come on, guys. You've got literal fucking Luke Skywalker walking around in your universe, and you're not, you're not getting him. You're a rotten shot. <laughs> I'm not. Are you telling me I can do that? I can show you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, wow, Matrix. Oh, shit. I mean, honestly, though, but like, yeah, there is a thing or two to be learned from this Cisco because he, he kind of seems like an advanced version or he's kind of like your future self in a way, right? It's like, this is what you could possibly turn into, I guess. Oh. Both of you, Zoom wanted him alive. You know what Zoom will do if you don't obey him. Ah. Oh, he's right here. Yo, he's fucking right here. Yeah, I was going to say, like, we're not... Well, we're probably taking him to him, but actually he's coming here to collect him himself. What did I say you should do if you encounter the speedster? Leave him unharmed. And the law on me. <laughs> Damn. Yo, are they all about to be killed? At least one of you knows their place. I don't think she's dead, right? I don't know about the others. Yeah, they're done. Cisco too. Cisco got taken out, you know. <laughs> yeah, the, the traditional way, let's say. Velocity 7 held up pretty well. Moving on to Velocity 8, I'm gonna figure it out, I swear. I just need you to figure out how to restabilize the breach. Barry, Cisco, and Wells still have 24 hours to go. So we have one day or they could be stuck there forever. Damn. Okay, so we're just kind of working, I guess, on like an advanced version of that particular, you know, the stuff that he that he takes. I, I was still going to ask myself the question, though, but I, I wonder if we're ever going to get the answer, surely, right, to who Zoom actually is, though, because they mentioned that he's, like, one of Harrison's creations, I think, right? But, like, in what way? Was he hit by the by the accelerator incident? Was he actually human before? Because right now, it's like they were even asking themselves the question whether he was human or not or something, right? If he was human before, who was he? Yeah, you gotta love another adopt abduction. It's like growth all over again. Jesse. Jesse! Hey, I'm here with your dad. We're gonna get you out of here, right? I promise. Yeah, does this look like you're getting her out of here? You're locked up yourself, my guy. Who was the other dude knocking at the fucking glass? This is the last place you'll ever see. I mean, actually, now that I'm looking at his suit, though, it's like, what if he actually is like the Eobard Thorn from this Earth, right? Obviously, the Eobard Thorn we encountered was from the other, uh, or from our own Earth. But like, his suit kind of seems similar to it, I will say. But I don't know, maybe I'm just, you know, looking into it too much as per usual. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And of course, you can get early access to the next 12 plus episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch the next episode right now. So I'll see you there.